So in starting the isolation journals, I kind of reprised this 100-day journal um, and thought I would invite a larger community to participate in journaling. Um, and so I invited my artist friends, my musician friends, and all the kind of wonderful humans that I know to draft prompts and many essays. Uh, and within about two days of launching the isolation journals, we had 40,000 people signed up. Um, but the second piece of it uh, that was important to me wasn't just inviting people to journal in the privacy of their own homes, but to invite them if they wanted to, to share those journal entries. Um, because something that I've learned again and again in my work is that when you dare to be vulnerable on the page, you dare to share that vulnerability with a larger community, there's a reverberation. Uh, naming the things that I'm grateful for. Uh, and I try not to um, fixate on the kind of extraordinary moments, but to fixate on the ordinary moments, mm -hmm. uh, kind of tiny, beautiful, ordinary moments uh, that happen in all of our days um, that are easy to overlook because they're simple or they're ongoing. And um, of course, it's easy to overlook them or to take them for granted. Um, for me, with the road trip, I wanted to challenge myself to do things that made me very uncomfortable. Um, but the second thing that I really wanted to do, especially after being sick and uh, being dependent on caregivers, was to learn how to be alone. I was someone who, even prior to my diagnosis, I uh, never did anything alone. I never went out to eat by myself. I never traveled by myself, even though I kind of thought of myself as this independent person. Um, but certainly after my illness, um, I didn't feel safe in my own body. And I had um, been forced to be dependent on caregivers uh, in a way where eventually um, that had come to feel normal. And so I really wanted to learn to be alone. Again, that felt like an important part of figuring out how to sort of thrust myself back out into the world. Uh, and so I decided that in between these different stops where I was visiting people, I was going to camp. Uh, and I did have my dog, Oscar, so I wasn't entirely alone. Um, but I think it's something that um, for me was usually important not just to um, my recovery, but to uh, developing a sense of confidence in my autonomy. And um, I think learning to enjoy your own company and finding ways to convert isolation into solitude is something that um, is profoundly empowering, however you do it.